Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna make a blue corn masa atole. So let me give you the ingredients. For my ingredients, we're gonna use this uh, masa azul. So it's the blue corn masa. And we're gonna need a half a cup. So this is the masa. It's gonna turn blue later <coughs> or black. Also, we're gonna need half a cup of piloncillo or the um, brown sugar if you, if you don't find the piloncillo. The piloncillo is the cane sugar. It's like little pieces like this. And one cinnamon stick. Vanilla, you can use vanilla extract or the vine. Two tablespoons. One uh, Mexican chocolate. Any brand. Also, we're gonna need the nanches. These ones. Or tejocotes. And uh, these ones, you're gonna find them where the on the Mexican section, on the ponche, where they have the frozen uh, fruits or vegetables or you can find them fresh in this uh, season and I have about 200 grams or about 8 to 10 pieces these ones you're gonna pre-boil them <clears throat> with water and cinnamon and then you're gonna reserve uh, the juice and now we're gonna blend it and uh, strain it also we're gonna need two Liters of water, but you can do half and half, so one liter of water and then the other one with milk. So, and also we're gonna need a blender and a pot where you're gonna make your uh, atole. So, let me give you the next step. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put your milk uh, to boil in the water. So, like I said, you can do half and half or you just do water. However, you wanna do it, it's fine. It's gonna be optional. So, one liter of water and half a liter of milk and then you put your cinnamon the vanilla it's gonna be two tablespoons of vanilla or four little cups and then you're gonna add this, the sugar and the chocolate or the piloncillo but this is you know you, you have to uh, grate it so that way it's not like the whole piece and it's gonna take forever to dissolve so you can grate the piloncillo and add it in here. Bring it to boil and then we're gonna show you what we're gonna do next with the nanches and show you next step. You're gonna add the chocolate and let it melt. In the meantime we're gonna have this boiling and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do next with the fruit and the masa. You're gonna put them in a blender or food processor. You're gonna remove the seeds okay and we're gonna blend it so I'm gonna Wash my hands and show you what we're gonna do next. Say so you're gonna add a little more juice. So this is my juice where I have it uh, cooked yesterday, or the ponche juice. I have a recipe on how to make the ponche too, so you can always check my Mexican fruit punch. And we're gonna blend it. Okay. All the way, so that way it's nice and smooth. So I'm gonna come back when this is ready and show you the next step. So what you're gonna do with your masa, or maseca, you're gonna make a kind of like a slurry. So we, you can always add a little milk, you know, just to make it a little runny. Or the same juice that you have from your fruit from the previous day. It's gonna be optional. Now you can always just add water. Now we're gonna strain our paste, fruit paste. And you can always change the fruit. If you don't find the nanches, you can always uh, add a uh, guavas. You can do any other flavor that you like. It's gonna be optional, okay? So, we're just gonna strain it. Make sure we don't have any seeds or anything like that. And we're gonna put them in the milk. So I'm gonna come back and show you the next step. So you combine all your uh, fruit paste we're gonna add it to our milk so now we have our milk already uh, boiling and we're gonna make our atole now so this one is like just like a hot chocolate I have a champurrado version that you can check in my channel it's kind of different but you know it's a uh, hot chocolate, Mexican hot chocolate. Now you're gonna use a masa, little by little. 
and just bring it to boil. You know, after it start boiling, you're gonna let it cook for about 15 20 minutes. And you can always make it, you know, as thick as you want or runny. It's gonna be optional. But right now it's kinda runny, but as soon as the mass starts cooking, it's gonna make it thicker. So you can add a little by little, so that way you can adjust the thickness. So bring it to boil, and then we'll come back and finish our atole. Right, so this is my consistency on the atole. So hopefully you guys like this video on how to make the atole. And also don't forget to subscribe, share, comment and like, and get the notification bell. So that way when we make a new video, you're going to be one of the first ones to watch it. And you're just going to serve it, let it cool down a little bit, because it's going to be extremely hot. So just be careful when you do the first uh, sip use a spoon or something because it is really really hot and if you keep it in these uh, tarritos it's even hotter so hopefully you guys enjoy it and we'll see you next time thank you enjoy <laughs>